Well, Grandma's back in the theater again. This time we picked up a hitchhiker, granddaughter Megan here. We're, we've all gone going to the movies this week, and this time it is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Quentin Tarantino's new film. He doesn't make your ordinary sort of everyday films. There's, Don't run the there's, mill. There's, you go to it, you know there's going to be something a little off, a little different about it, and we'll have to see what it is this time. You know, I, I, I got to look after my dudes. Hey, hey and, and if your dudes were a better match for me, I'd say, oh, okay, you got me. But, but, but that, that's not the case, and you know it. He, he's a great match for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, no. Hey, you could do anything you want to him. Th th throw him off a building, right? Light him on fire. Hit him with a Lincoln, right? <laughs> Get creative. Do whatever you want. He's just he's happy. With well, we're back again. Grandma's at the movies this time Hi. with our special guest star, granddaughter Megan. My daughter, wonderful Megan, back there, and it's uh, nice to have her here. Uh, we do want to remind you to please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our movie reviews. Uh, please give it a like. Megan, can you give it a like too? Oh, there even a like for Look, Megan. So many of them. <laughs> <laughs> you can only give one at a time, but it's nice to have likes. And again, please. Uh, comment on our videos because we love to read your comments and comment on your comments. This week, Grandma went to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which is the newest film by Quentin Tarantino, who's known for making an offbeat film or two. This time, it's, it's uh, set in 1969 Hollywood, uh, and it has basically sort of two stories going side by side in different tracks uh, along. Uh, one features uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, who is a television slash movie star of westerns and such uh, of the time. And his, uh, the other main character is uh, in that track is uh, played by Brad Pitt, who is his stunt double of this actor. And they're like best friends, and, and Brad Pitt does Call a lot these. of that yep. Brad Pitt does a lot of stuff to help him. And uh, DiCaprio's character, Rick Dalton, is thinking, well, maybe he's, uh, you know, past his prime and his, his, you know, his career is not going so well. And, and uh, you know, so he's has some ups and downs of his career, and we follow along with that. At the same time, uh, we follow along with Sharon Tate, who is a, a well-known actress of the time, and uh, some of her uh, friends. And as we all know, in 1969, uh, she was murdered uh, rather graphically and gorily, and, and other people with her, uh, in her home by uh, followers of Charles Manson, the famous mass murderer. Uh, and that's, again, so we're following along with her during this time leading up to uh, what would be her death. Uh, and so these two stories are going at the same time. And uh, so what did you think of it, Grandma? I enjoyed it very much. I mean, if you can say you enjoy some, <laughs> a movie that's uh, uh, so graphic about the situation. Um, the actors are spectacular. I mean, these two men, Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio, are uh, at the top of their craft. They are very, very good. And everything uh, worked. Everything worked. And Margot Robbie plays Sharon Tate, too. Oh, yes. She's very yeah. good, too. And uh, the fantasy part, uh, the real part, you know, it was all very clear, very well done. I enjoyed it very much. I uh, did hold my breath several times during the story because, uh, you know, things were going to happen and did. <sighs> What'd you think, Megan? Um, well, I thought it was very much a Quentin Tarantino movie. Mm -hmm. um, including all the foot scenes where he just like has bare feet everywhere. <laughs> but I thought it was really interesting and of course like the casting was amazing. That's yeah. how I knew about it. 
that's honestly all I knew about it. I knew the casting was really good, you know, got Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, Margot Robbie, like what can go wrong? Um, and honestly, I didn't want it to end because it was so long, you know, it felt like you're watching like a, you really got to know the characters, you know, it was sort of like watching a TV show and you're like, uh, just binge watching or something, you know, but it was really well done and I, I loved like the whole nostalgic feeling of like the 60s, 70s, it was really nice and I, very authentic, you know. All well, the, the of course soundtrack. I was, I was uh, involved in the 69s, mm -hmm. you know, since my age and they did a very good job of recreating the, the aura, mm -hmm. the vibe yeah, it was of very much 69. Like and also I the way it was filmed. They know? did a very good like job the, of it, the it feel. It seemed like it was filmed with a, a film camera or some old timey. What know? did you think, Papa? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was very well done. Uh, again, sort of along the lines of what Megan was talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, the film is rather long. Uh, yeah. And early on, it, it does seem like they're really taking their time. It's sort of very slowly following the characters along. I didn't notice it, the time being Well, long. again, I, I, I noticed it at the beginning, but as it, it's interesting, as it went on, it, the time seemed to go by much more quickly. You, 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 once, once the characters were sort of established, mm -hmm. Uh, you got into their their situations and their stories, right. and, uh, and and it didn't seem, uh, you know, it really seemed to pick up steam, you might say, and you just didn't really well, notice it. Well, it didn't drag at all. Yeah. Oh. No. Uh, it's an interesting, very interesting film. Uh, again, the 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 way that uh, they they show the lives of the the film actors and everything mm -hmm. like this the, the ups and downs and and it was all i think very uh accurately done and very interesting to see the sort of the behind the scenes and their careers and such and then the sharon tate's story going along is very interesting uh why we don't the three of us uh get into the details of the film too much is because Again, being a Quentin Tarantino film, he does have some twists and turns yes. with uh, all of his characters. Now, again, there are in this film fictional characters and uh, real characters, real people that are, uh, you know, historical characters. Uh, but Tarantino, in the end, uh, uh, in the final analysis, uses them all as fictional characters. Uh, that, that's something that you need to know. We don't want to get into uh, the the uh, you know the story give it away. No, too no, much no. because it really would <laughs> give away uh, no. the, the the parts of the film that that really uh, are really good and so just take, you got to take our word for it <laughs> it's it's well it's well done and it's worth the time that you uh put into it to watch it so uh, again i would recommend it uh grandma what would your rating oh, this be? is a two thumb this is a two thumbs up movie definitely if uh, once upon the time in hollywood 1969 and it is a very, it's a must-see movie, yes. What about you, Megan? Would you recommend it? I would it? definitely agree. I would definitely recommend Yeah, It was quite the experience. And I would recommend it, too. Uh, again, I think it's, it's uh, you're not, you know, with all the different types of films out there, you're not going to see anything like this anytime soon. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, go out and see it, because it is uh, one of a kind. Woo. And Quentin Tarantino has done it again. Mm, done it again. He's done it again. Never so. fails to 